Hey everyone, it's Christina and I just want to show you a project I finished and if you saw my haul video I bought it li this little mini unfinished dresser at Michael's for a dollar nineteen and it actually went in and out of my buggy at least twice and then finally I just said what the heck and I put it in my buggy and I'm glad that I got it um, because now I just love it and it's so cute so I'll tell you what I did first thing I did was um, I gave it a little sand. I sanded it just a bit, especially the drawers, so they're easy to, easier to open. Uh, then I painted the whole thing white, and then a coat of crackle paint, and then I painted it again white, but I had just a little hint of pink in the white. Uh, and then when that dried, I put um, a coat of, um, oh shoot, what was it? What did I put on there? Oh yeah, a coat of varnish. So I'll do sort of a close-up here, and you can see how it finished. Really pretty. And I, so I just did the varnish on the sides and on the top, uh, not on the fronts of the drawers. And I also have a like a flourish stamp, so I just stamped the corners of each drawer and the top of the dresser as well. And then the little knobbies I painted with acrylic paint. I used. Uh, let's see, an acrylic metallic paint. One is a pearl white, and this one is a metallic bronze. I just mixed them together and tapped it on with a paintbrush. And then um, added some pearls here. And also on the inside of the drawer, I just um, uh, glued down some lace. And then for the top, I have to hold the drawer so they don't fall open. Um, roses, white roses that I painted um, with acrylic, white acrylic paint. And then I misted them with a homemade mist that I just have here. It's in a, um, a Tattered Angels bottle, but once the bottle was finished, I just made my own. And all I do is just make it with like, this, this particular shade is... Um, what is this? This is like a, it's called brownie. So it's just a metallic brown type of acrylic paint and and water and it's a really it's a nice shade. So that's all I did with that. Just sort of a quick, really quick spray over the flowers once they dried. And then when that dried, I put a coat of um, clear rock candy crackle paint on all the flowers. And then this flower here. Um, there's a tutorial. Um, her name is ER and her YouTube is Selections by ER. And she has a tutorial, a brand new tutorial, on a flower that I am just loving. So I've made a couple already and I plan on making more. So here's another one that I made. And you just start out with um, a circle. Mine is made out of um, thick cardstock. And then I glued down, I have a big piece of lace fabric so I just sort of cut a circle out, glued that on and then you take, um, I took four pieces of lace say about two inches in square and you sort of fold them over and I use my hot glue gun and you glue them around the circle and then you add strips of lace and I add, added some ribbon and one of my um, uh, buttons on it and it, they're really really pretty flowers so I like them. So that was what I did for the top there, I added that. And then I added some little um, white beading, beads on it and then some pearls. And this here, this image here are stickers. I'm not a sticker fan, but I used one of the stickers in this package here. And then, because it had the picture of the girl in there and I liked it, so I put some glossy accents in the middle. And then I used my um, vintage photo distress ink to paint the side of the frame, the outside of the frame, and added some pearls. Oh, and a stick pin. Put a stick pin in here. So that's, that's that. I like it. I really like it. So it's cute. So I'm just going to put all my little findings and pins and beads and, or whatever inside. I don't know yet. Um, oh yeah, and then on the side of the box I also put, uh, I don't know what it's called. Oh, they're just they're borders. I got this at the dollar store and thought, well, I might as well try using it. They are flocked lace borders. So I thought I'd give that a go and just use that on the side. And that's it. 
that's my show and tell and I also wanted to show a pretty card that I got in the mail from Brooke so hi Brooke thank you very much she just sent me this card and it says thank you for your endless support love and friendship so it's a really pretty card and I like how this is embossed and there's the back and then inside she um, added some rick rack here and cut out some circles for a balloon so that was very nice of you. Thank you very much, Brooke. All right, everyone. I hope you're having a great day or a great night. See you all later. Bye. Bye.